why does the current in an inductor lag behind the voltage by 90 degrees to understand this let's uh, look at this particular circuit so we have a pure inductive circuit which means that there is only an inductor attached to a voltage source an inductor in its most basic form is simply a coil of wire which is wounded around some kind of a core material and whenever a current is flowing through this coil of wire then it leads to the generation of a magnetic flux around this particular inductor and the nature of this magnetic flux is such that it opposes the change in the flow of current it means that every time the current is either trying to increase or it is trying to decrease then this magnetic flux opposes the change in the current by generating a secondary emf through this particular coin coil and this induced emf in the inductor is given by So the induced EMF is directly proportional to the rate of change of current with respect to time. If you compare this kind of an inductive circuit with another circuit which contains a resistor instead of an inductor, so if I had a resistor here instead of an inductor, then the resistor would simply offer an opposition to the flow of current. So what would happen is that in the case of a resistor, if the voltage is rising and it's falling the current would also rise and fall along with the particular voltage however in the case of an inductor the inductor does not offer resistance to the flow of current but rather it offers resistance to the change in the flow of current we end up getting a little bit of a different result so let's see what happens the moment we have a power supply which is offering some kind of an ac voltage so the voltage is going up and down the polarity is reversing with respect to time at a particular frequency then with every change in current the inductor is op offering some kind of an opposition by inducing an emf in the coil which is against the voltage supply so we can write that v t is equal to negative of et so v is the uh, voltage source and e is the secondary voltage induced inside the inductor if i write this expression it becomes minus minus l di by dt which becomes l di by dt this can simply be written as v naught sin omega t is equal to l di by dt or di if i bring this side here then di can be written as v not by l sin omega t dt okay now if i integrate both these sides with the proper limits then i end up getting so if i integrate both these sides then i get i is equal to v not by omega l minus cos omega t or i is equal to if i can write v not by omega l as some kind of a constant because v not is the maximum voltage so let's write this as i not so i not is nothing but v not by omega l and minus cos omega t can simply be converted to a sin function if i write sin omega t minus pi by So as you can see the current which is flowing through the inductor also follows a sinusoidal function but if you compare that with that of the voltage then there is a phase difference between the voltage frequency and the current frequency with of a phase difference of 90 degrees which is pi by 2 so as you can see in the graphical representation this pink colored line represents the voltage and the white colored line represents the current both have sinusoidal dependence on their frequencies but the phase of the current lags behind that of the voltage by 90 degrees and that is because of the nature of the inductor and how it opposes the changes in the flow of current itself